I can remember when I was young and I, when I first came into myself, my mother expressed some concerns that she had. One of those concerns was that, you know, she knew we lived in a world that can be very mean and ugly. Whether you have one partner or multiple partners, you're at risk. And that's as real as I can put it. Her concern was that someone would harm me for simply existing. And her other concern was that um, I would contract HIV AIDS and die. My name is Malai Nicole Sherry. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am, am the founder and one of the directors of House of Tulip. We provide zero barrier housing to trans, gender non-conforming, non-binary individuals in the state of Louisiana. Up here is where folks can come and utilize the clothing closet. For folks that are living with HIV, it's oftentimes people think that you contracted it through sex. Um, when there are many forms and different ways that folks contract it. So we have gender affirming clothing. Um, folks can come and access, they're totally free. Um, we also have hygiene products that folks can come and access. August of 2015, I was able to land a job um, within a nonprofit organization doing HIV testing myself and as well as administrating um, hormone injections. I was handling um, needles at work and I ended up pricking myself. And later on, when I went to go do an HIV test, I tested positive. For the first year, my mental health spiraled. The woulda, shoulda, coulda. You know, I should have did this. I wish I would have done that because I couldn't picture me taking medication daily. Then it came to letting me know that you done nothing wrong that it's not your fault. And from there, I got into therapy, counseling. But the most freeing thing for me out of all of it was um, to be as open as I am about my HIV status today. Folks have saw this tattoo and have really um, have been in a space to open enough to disclose their own status, talk to me about friends that they know who are positive or a family member who is positive. And I just want people to know that, you know, HIV looks like me, but it also stops with me and ends with me because I decided to take that initial step in getting care. So Malani, I'm mommy, and I am so excited. I am, I am beyond excited. And she's so alert. She's so alert. The beauty about my daughter is that she's going to be a force to reckon with. My child is a person who will come into this world HIV negative. And that's, again, a proven fact that treatment works, that you get in care, you become undetectable. You can have everything that your heart wants and desires. I'm Michael Learmonth, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.